Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Funko Pop Central. Today we have a $200 mystery box from Toy USA, so let's get right into it. So it's actually been a super long time since I bought a $200 mystery box. Um, I usually stick with $100 ones because... I don't know, I just feel like they, if I buy two $100 mystery box, that's two videos uh, for you guys instead of just buying the one $200 one. But this one I could not pass up because the top grail, I'll throw a picture up, but the top grail is a flocked Lotso from D23. Um, it's limited to, I think, 360 pieces, maybe 480. And that thing is just so cool. Um, I, if you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know that's my top grail of all time. That and Flock to Sully. But uh, when there's an opportunity to get that thing for less than $2,000, I definitely take it. Um, so yeah, there's a ton of cool grails. Some other grails in there um, are Purple Haze, Tony the Tiger, um, Deadpool, Fruit Brute, um, a bunch of ad icons. The uh, Director Freddy would be my second choice out of this box. Um, yeah, just a ton of cool ones, Indiana Jones, so we are going to get right into this thing, guys. I have Red Knife here, and if we win that Flock Lotso, I'm going to go crazy, guys. You guys know how long I've wanted that for, but um, if we don't win it, obviously I can't really expect to win it. I think there was 200 of these boxes made. Um, I actually had this sent to the P.O. box um for good luck because last time i had something sent to the p.o box that was a mystery box i got something really really good um so yeah and usually they are double boxed yeah, so it is double boxed here which that's one reason i like toy usa they pack their pops super super nicely but yeah also i don't know if this is a guaranteed value box let me check the post one more time um oh actually there's only 130 boxes and i so odds of receiving receiving a box at 200 plus is one in five so, definitely not the best odds uh, that I've ever had, but I've definitely had worse odds and pulled through. So, I'm um, not too worried about it. But we always want to see the first three pops we get. Actually, I don't even know how much there is. I'm sorry, guys. But um, I think there's four pops. It looks like the box holds four, maybe three. So, if there's four pops in here, we want the first three pops to be super bad, like $9 commons, so that the last one is super, super valuable. Um, so, we will see here, guys. And obviously, as always... I will let you guys see first what we got. Boom. Ooh, is Flock Lotso in there? I wish. Okay, here we go. So yeah, there's four pops in here, and they're all like taped together. It looks like so there is two there. Ah, oh, so there's no hard stack. So they definitely would have put the Lotso in a hard stack, so I'm assuming that this box is just a, a little $100 box, which does kind of suck, but... We will not complain here, guys. So let me try and get this bubble wrap off. It's always hard to get this bubble wrap off when I'm not looking at it. Okay. So the first pop we have is... Okay, guys. So it is the Target exclusive Twinkie the Kid. Um, I never actually picked this one up from Target. I'll let you guys see that there. I never actually picked this one up from Target just because um, I actually wasn't uh, hunting pops very much when this thing came out. But I know there's a Chase one, too, that I think it's a different... Um, bandana if i'm not mistaken um but yeah i never really was a fan of twinkies there's the back of the box but yeah never really a fan of twinkies they always tasted a little weird to me um but yeah so that's the first one so guys um this box definitely isn't gonna have flock lots in there because they wouldn't have given us an exclusive and then a super rare exclusive so this is definitely gonna be a failure of a box um is my guess uh but the second one here is Okay, so we actually already have this one. This is the 2017 Summer Convention exclusive. Um, Tony Stark, he's holding the Iron Man helmet. We'll take all these guys out of the box at the end. But if you can see that there, sorry about the glare. But if you see that there, he's holding the helmet in his hand. Um, and I think I actually have two of these. It's from Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, so yeah, I think I actually got this in the last mystery box. So I think I actually have four of these things now, which is kind of crazy. Um, I'll definitely throw that in one of the next giveaways. Um, so I think that one, those are probably worth around... 12 to 15 maybe $20 a piece. Um, so this one here, guys. Okay, just so just a common Marty McFly. Um, so this is another $10 one. Um, pretty cool box. Honestly, I like how the back box has um, like the uh, the fire from the car, the DeLorean. I think that's really cool. Uh, but I'll let you guys get a closer look at that guy. Pretty cool. Um, I actually do already have Marty McFly. I have him on the hoverboard. It was a fun.com exclusive, which is super cool pop. Um, but yeah, not a bad one. So that right there is probably, I would say, 
maybe 20, 30, $40 of value. So this pop should come in at around $60 because I think the minimum you can get is a $100 box. So um, we will see what this last one is. Okay, wait. So it is Goku. It's, it's a Goku, a Super Saiyan God. This thing is not, is this thing worth anything? I thought this was just like a, I know it's, there's no way it's worth more than like 50 bucks, right? I have no idea, guys. I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan, so I don't know if this one is worth anything. It came out, uh, I don't know what year it came out, actually. It doesn't have it on the bottom here, but I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember how much this one is worth. I'm going to look it up on Stash P, obviously, um, but this protector is kind of foggy. That is not my camera, by the way. Um, let me take it out of the protector so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, it's actually super good uh, condition box and he looks pretty cool, but I just don't know how much he's worth So there he is there and I'll take him out of the box in a second here But let me uh, go ahead and pull up stash PD and check out the value of these guys All right guys, I looked up all the values on stash PD. I'm not too excited about it But I do win a lot of boxes from Toy USA and with winning comes losing obviously you can't win every single box So this is one of those times where I lose um, So Tony Stark is worth $31 um, so not too bad. Definitely more than I thought. Um, actually all these pops were valued at more than I thought. Um, but he used to be like 19 bucks. Now he's at 31. So maybe he'll climb up and I do have four of them. So, um, it might be a good like trade bait or whatever. But yeah, so we got that one there at $31. Twinkie the Kid is $12 or $15 actually. I'm sorry. Uh, so 15 bucks and it is a pretty cool one. This one will definitely go good in the collection with the other ad icons. Um, so that's 15, um, 31. This Goku is like $65. So, um, right around where I thought it was. Um, honestly, this is the pops I like where it's just super plain and it just, it's just the character. I really like that. So, um, I might start watching Dragon Ball Z. I've been getting a lot of those pops lately. So I think I do need just to start watching it and see if I like it or not. And I'm sure I'll like it because a ton of you guys really like it. Um, so yeah, that one's worth like 65. And then we have Marty McFly, which is valued at a lot more than I thought it was. It's actually 29 bucks instead of the, uh, just regular $10. Um, but yeah, on the back here, they only came out with two pops from the set. And then they just made like a bunch of exclusives. So I would like to see them do some other uh, variations. Or not other variations, but other characters. Like just straight characters. Um, but yeah, so overall I think that was like a hundred and... Like 37 bucks total I think I added up to. So um, we did lose about... What is that? Three... So like $63 plus 13 bucks for shipping. So like 76 bucks on this box, which kind of hurts. But I did just win my last mystery box. You guys saw that video. So can't really complain. It kind of evens out in the end. But yeah, that's pretty much what we got. But let's take these things out of the box. Guys, overall, I'm not super disappointed, but I'm a little disappointed because I lost some money. But, like I said, all evens out in the end. Can't be too disappointed about it. I'll get them next time. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty much going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a big thumbs up on this video. Also, don't forget that we are doing the 30,000 subscriber challenge where if I hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of March, I will be getting the Funko Pop tattoo and also giving away an awesome pop. So, definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time.